ancient cylinders which have baffled experts for more than a hundred years, since they were discovered were used for measuring, archaeologists have claimed. The unique 4,000-year-old Folkton drums date from the Neolithic period and were found in a child's grave in 1889. Since their discovery, the pots, which are covered in intricate carvings, have been studied by generations of experts who struggled to find what they were used for. Now researchers claim that were used as a standard measurement to plan out the stone circles built by our Stone Age ancestors, around 5,000 years ago. Professor Mike Parker Pearson, from University College London, and Professor Andrew Chamberlain, from Manchester University, calculated the pot's circumference. When they came to think about the different perimeters of the cylinders, they found that by wrapping string around each pot, the results all came roughly to a multiple of 0.322 meters, just over one foot. Professor Chamberlain claims that this distance is a Stone Age measurement standard, which he has dubbed a long foot. They say that our ancient ancestors could have used the method to create the concentric circles at Stonehenge. The patterned pots were found buried in an infant's grave, dating back to between 2600 and 2000 BC, by an archaeologist 130 years ago. Generations of experts have studied the drums and its carvings and motifs to try and understand what they were used for, most presuming they were decorative. They were unlike any other artifacts found in Britain until the recent discovery of an undecorated chalk drum in a pit in Lavent, Sussex, England. However, Professors Chamberlain and Pearson, claimed they were astonished to find that if you wrap a string around all of the cylinders a number of times they got the measurement of 3.22 meters long. For the largest cylinder, they found that if you wrap cord around it seven times, the measurement was 10 long foot. If you wrap it 8 times around the medium-sized one it or 10 times around the smallest and it is still 10 long foot. The pot found later in Lavent, which was presumably made by a different craftsman, also fitted the relation. Professor Chamberlain believes that the drums were used as a portable means of defining length, by wrapping string around the cylinders or perhaps by rolling them. He said that although their findings won't be accepted by all archaeologists, he believes that the conclusion is much more likely than what is currently thought. That they built the stone lintels without the use of measuring tools. Think about the stones used in Stonehenge. Some came from far away, Professor Chamberlain said. I don't think they were stupid enough to bring those stones all the way to the site, try them, and find they were too short. The findings are reported in the British Journal for the History of Mathematics.